All right, I came to go take a look at this property. I talked to the broker today about it. This one's 129 units. And it's nice, it's brand new actually. They built uh, the last seven buildings. They built the last seven buildings, uh, brand new last year, and now that it's up for sale, um, the reason why I'm walking this property to look at it is because I was going to actually buy this piece of property without the buildings back in 2018. And uh, they wanted about uh, $3 million per building to build. And uh, so the total project to build this whole thing was about $15 plus million. That's with development of putting this retention pond in and all of that. So I went and I talked to the agent and pretended I was going to be a, a renter because I wanted to get the information, not just from the broker, but actually meet who's going to be managing the property. Um, I actually talked to a tenant, asked him about the property, asked him about the tenants in here, asked them about lighting, asked them about um, you know who's living here. Um, they have a waiting list on this property. That's what the broker told me. So I wanted to verify that with the with the people working in the office. They verified it. Yes, they do have a waiting list. Um, I wanted to verify the ink, the rents, of what the broker told me and what I got in the, this, uh, this uh, pamphlet here. So if you can make sense of one unit, you can make sense of 129 units buying this monster of a beast. The, I asked them what's gonna get me in the range into this deal, the broker because I want to know what, what the range is. Number one, price per unit. This one's about two hundred and thirty-five dollars to $240,000 a unit, which is pretty high up there, right? But it's nice, nice property. Look at it, you know? Got a little putting green. So when I first walk up on a property, I'm like, what do I like about this property? It's clean. It's clean, it's brand new. There's a nice retention pond. Look, nice walkway. Got a little putting green area here. Everything looks clean. In this case, they don't have to repair anything because everything is brand new, you know? And then I ask about, um, you know, any problems here on the property. I ask about, you know, do you have any um, issues with people not paying their rent? Things like that, you know, any, any loud noises. So I'm asking the tenant, one of the residents here, because they're going to give you the right, the, the best information of all. And the lady I talked to said that no, everything is nice, it's quiet, it's, it's peaceful. There's the uh, the lady inside of the office. You know, I'm interviewing her at the same time. She's very friendly. She's very nice. She's very knowledgeable. She gave me a lot of information about the units, about the area, about the cost, about the application process and everything. And that's what you want. You want people who are, because they're, they're the ones who are going to be managing your business. So you want to make sure that they're, they're going to be doing a good job and you got the right people working the front office. And that's about it. I'm going to walk, I'm going to walk through here, take a look at the courtyard. I think these are the older style buildings. You could see because of the, um, the balconies, the railings, they're different. So they only had two buildings here before they started building all these brand new ones. And that's it, this is what I do. I walk property, I walk real estate, and I wanna know how much things are gonna cost because I wanna size up my deals, position my sale of my stuff, and get make sure that I know what the competition's doing as well so I can implement it in my business. Okay, so we're driving off the property now, and I talked, like I said, I talked to one of the tenants, and what she liked about the property is that it's all fenced off, so it's secure. She likes the people, everybody talks to everyone, so that's nice, it's a good, good, good uh, synergy. Um, I actually saw the lady, the management lady that's working the property. Um, she's, she's been in the property management business for 15 years. She's really friendly, she answered a lot of questions, she gave me a lot of information, super helpful. That's really, really important, really key. You wanna be able to access um, the management company that's on site 
and the person that's working the office they need to be competent they need to know they need to really know what they're doing so she's been there 15 years um, she said no real issues with uh, the property and the tenants from a tenant standpoint um, number one because it's all brand new so you're not really gonna have that you're gonna have a different tenant base with brand new um, product all in all um, what the broker told me is true um, I don't I don't have any reason that they would lie but you know you have to do due diligence in this process because you have to know everything everything this is a business and you got to know everything you got to know all the pieces you got to do double checks and balances and make sure that they are not stretching the truth like I said earlier they want about 235 to 240 thousand dollars a door that puts you in the in the 30 million dollar range for this asset so now knowing that that the broker told me because they they listed it without an asking price okay so part of the process is trying to get a feel for how much per door they want they want to get you know and then you want to you want to then you want to back into those numbers right so 30 million dollars you want to back into those numbers of okay you know 45 percent of, of your gross income is is expenses so then you whatever you're netting left over right is used to pay for debt okay and then now you got to figure out how much debt you're gonna have okay so if it's 30 million dollars you, you're gonna get 65 to 70 percent of debt on 30 million dollars that means that you know you're gonna have whatever how much ever money you got to put down 10 million dollars let's just say right um, then you know okay my net needs to cover the debt payment if the deal feels good when you walk it and you talk to people then you, you know you should get it okay that's when you know you should get it all right the only thing I don't like about it is it's tucked away back here so there is no signage so you got your marketing has to be freaking on point however with that said this property is a hundred percent full which is really 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 impressive that never really happens that never happens at all actually um, you always have one or two units that are vacant um, I asked if they're having any concessions, you know, to fill it up so they could sell this thing. There's no concessions, which means that's good. That means the market's strong. That means the property's strong and it's performing really well. Um, it's performing really well because the management company, she's really nice inside of there. The tenants are nice. They walk through. There's no riffraffs. They're, 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 uh, there's no garbage around. You know, everything looks clean. And to sum this up now is how do I make sense of raising the money to do that? Well. I don't have the money to do that but if you start looking at deals that big in that range your mind will start expanding your mind will start looking for ways to raise the money you see the money is out there okay there's millions and millions of dollars out there it's just that you haven't collected enough money okay you you don't need to go and make money the government makes the money for you already you need to become the person that can collect a lot of money and how you do that is you have your business, you add value, you market, you increase your top line, you always look to increase your top line, you tweak it. Or if you're working your job, you know, you're gathering skills, you're earning more money in your job, you're going up the corporate ladder, whatever, it doesn't matter. But if you want to get into that type of deal, you know, you, you need to start looking at those deals so you can wrap your brain around it. Because if you can make sense of a duplex, a triplex, a single family home, a fix and flip, then you can make sense of 130 units. Okay, it, it's the same mechanics. Okay, there's a little bit more due diligence, obviously, but it's not too big. And people miss it because they're like, oh my God, that's way beyond the scope of whatever I thought I could possibly actually own and buy. Like, how do I do that? And they give up. You give up because you, you, you taught yourself or you believed at some point in your life that you couldn't own a big piece of asset, a apartment community. At some point in your life, you, you talked yourself out of it. So part of the process is talking yourself into it. That's why I go and look at these units. I go and I walk it. I go and talk and I do the research. I do the homework. I do everything I can. Whether I can buy it or not, it doesn't. that's not the point. The point is that I'm stretching and I'm growing and I'm figuring it out. And that is the differentiator of people making it and people not making it. So I hope this inspires you. Get out there, dream big, dream large, and do things that you don't think that's possible. Because in that process, 
you will achieve things that you never thought was possible. So get after it, live free, live amazingly.